Anyone to give it a try? The meaning of data capture? It's the process of uh, gathering information. Okay. The process of gathering what? Eh? Huh? The process of gathering information altogether. That is what data is all about. Okay. So you are talking about the process of gathering information. Okay. The process. Um, of gathering very okay. bad handwriting process of gathering data a data or any type of information that you can gather okay automatically or or maybe in a physical manner, okay? So, uh, one thing that we also have to understand is that uh, about short answer questions, uh, these short answer questions go beyond simple just recall, you know? So, uh, we have established the fact that uh, these are a little bit advanced in nature, okay? So, they require uh, students or linear to consider various um, various factors, okay, um, uh, that arrive um, um, at a solution, whether they are ideal or they are mathematical or other solution, okay. So those other factors are the ones that have to be considered when you are trying to uh, look at short answer, which is different from completion. So short answers are a little bit more detailed, so, okay. So scoring completion questions can be more objective than scoring short answer questions, okay? So, uh, because we, we did establish the fact that um, subjective questions, uh, um, short answers are subjective, are more subjective than objective, okay? So completion are objective questions, meaning to say you just have to be objective the way if an answer is an answer, it's just an answer just like that, okay? But a subjective question needs a teacher's interpretation to understand what the learner was trying to explain in that particular question. So that is the more difference uh, between the two. Anyone with a question on, the, on this one? Otiri, are we okay? Otiri, are we okay? Otiri, I was asking, are we okay? Okay, thank you. She says yes, we are okay. She says yes, we are okay. 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 So now, advantages of uh, completion of in uh, the blank. Okay, these are some of the advantages that um, uh, it has. Okay, okay. So now remember when we looked at Bloom's taxonomy to say what kind of questions are who questions, what questions, where questions, when questions. Okay, okay. Here you are trying to itemize. Here you are trying to say what is this. Okay, okay. you are trying to find out what this particular thing is, okay? But then, then here can be a place, a location, or, or, or some other thing that uh, uh, can be asked. Okay? And then when you talk about uh, uh, when you're just trying to refer the aspect of uh, the, the time, okay? So these are... Uh, these completion questions are good for these types of uh, questions. Okay. Is there someone that is listening to music in the background? We are asking you to uh, mute your mic, please. So completion formula uh, questions minimize guessing. 
they minimize what? Guessing. Okay. Okay, I think I've just muted everyone. So we can put our, our suggestion on everything in the chat. Okay, so uh, they minimize guessing. These type of questions minimize guessing. They also encourage more intensive uh, study. So when you are trying to answer to completion questions, you are looking at the aspect of answering questions uh, with the, your full understanding of what you are trying to answer. All together. That's the nature of these objective type of questions. Okay. And then uh, they can also, uh, can usually provide an objective measure. Okay. We talked about these uh, uh, objective type of questions. So their uh, criteria is objective measure of a student or learner's achievement or ability altogether. Okay. So that's the, the essence of these uh, uh, questions. Okay. Okay. Are there any questions that we are able to ask about this particular uh, part? Anyone to, you can chat in the chat group. Nimbiri, are we okay? Brian. And any other person? Gently, are we okay? Suddenly the class has gone quiet. Are we okay? Yes, sir. Denda, yes, you have a question, please go ahead. So, sir, there is a difference between short terms and the completion questions. Uh, anyone to, to help us on that question that Denda has raised? Because uh, the, the whole instance of the, the question is about the me getting the objective measures. Uh -huh. So, is there any difference there? Anyone to, to help us on the, on the question that uh, Denda is asking? Pethias? Sir? Yes, yes, there's a question there. Uh, I, I think... Uh... Completion, I think, uh, I think an answer is needed at the at the end of the question. Okay. Yes. Wow, well, a short answer. It can it, it can be a blank space. It can be found at any point of uh, of a question. Oh. Okay. 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 It can yes. be found at any point. That is a short answer. Gently, give it a try. You had your raised, you had raised your hand up. Gently. Yes, sir. Um, I think a short answer, mm -hmm. uh, just like a, it's just where in anywhere it can be like uh, anywhere, uh, any question, just a short, maybe two or one word answer. But completion is about the sentence, you're finding the right word for that um, uh, sentence to make sense. I think that's what I can say. Okay. So like com completion is like a close. Like a what? A close, that of English. Close your yeah, school. Close. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh let me let me let me just uh try and uh uh explain further here. When you look at uh a completion and a short answer, are we together? Okay. Okay, this is a short answer, meaning to say you are giving an explanation. Okay, yes, you are giving an explanation. So, a short answer can have more than one or more words. A short answer is uh, 
a type of question which has got require more one sentence or even a paragraph. That is, oh. you see that? Okay. Mm. So short answer questions may require one sentence or even a paragraph in you trying to explain that particular. But a completion, a completion questions, the response is usually one or two words. You see that? Okay? Mm -hmm. One or two words that fit on the line provided by the are you, are, are you getting the, the, the difference between the two? Yes, sir. Uh, so like okay. a definition can be a, a short answer. Yes, a definition can be a short answer. If you ask questions okay. like explain, those are short answer questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Petrus, are we okay? Yes, sir. Gently, are we okay there? Yeah, okay, sir. Okay. Yes. So um, that's the, the major difference between the two. Okay. So now, uh, when you look at a completion, it can be anywhere in the way, anywhere you can place it, whether at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Are we together? Yes. Gently, are we together? Otiria has a question. Otiria, yes. Otiria. Yes, I will add. Otiria, please ask a question, Otiria. Uh, sir, may I have a question? So yes. you said on those uh, uh, completion, they have contents on the subject. What, how, I mean, what, where? Why now? What of those questions? That's that's with how. Are they, they, do they put on the short answers or conclusion? You know what to, to to answer Kotiria's uh, question. She's trying to find out what of those questions that start with how. Yes, gently. I think uh, those that start how they fall under uh, short answers because it's uh, it's a bit of explanation on how, unlike uh, a completion. Okay, have you heard uh, his, his answer? Yes, sir. Yes, are, are you still behind? No. Pardon? No. Okay, anyone to give it a try, Nimbin? Nimbiri? Say something. Yes, Nimbiri. Uh, I think uh, when you use those words, it can be easier for those questions that do not require an explanation, whereby you just give a one word answer. It's just one word answer. I think uh, when you are, when, when, when uh, such words like what, where, I think it can be easy for a short answer rather than, than, rather than giving a long explanation. Okay. Uh, Nyimbiri has got uh, also uh, his, his point. Mutale, what is, your, what is your say on this one, Mutale? Yes, Mutale, what is your take on, on the discussion? Is Mutale able to get us? Okay, so we've established the fact that uh, a completion uh, question, um, the response is usually one or two ways. Are we together? They're just trying to complete. There's a blank space. Okay. So the idea is you having a blank space. Okay. And the, in that blank space, you complete that particular question. Okay. Filling that particular blank space. Okay. So that's the essence of um, that's the essence of completion. But this one. 
you know uh, it requires you to give a sentence or even a paragraph okay so that's the difference that we, we are able to to, to, to know okay uh, those, that was on the aspect of uh, advantage. Anything to say on this? On these advantages, anyone who has got uh, something to say? Uh, so I've got a question. Yes, please. Right. Maybe you have said something. Please go ahead. Please, I ask all those people that are not able to mute your mic. want to mute everyone but uh, uh, Wendo kindly mute your mic Wendo anyone who can talk directly to Wendo can put his mic because I've tried to mute it but uh, I don't know what he... Okay, yes, go ahead, Nyimbiri. Nyimbiri, go ahead. Nimbiri, are you able to get me? Uh, yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, you are trying to ask sir, a question. Uh, is there any difference between those questions that require us to write an essay with uh, this one? That require us to write an essay? Huh? Nimbiri, is that your question? Yes, sir. You are saying to say, is there a difference between the questions that require you to write an essay? Yes, uh, with these uh, short answers. In, uh... Anyone to give it a try? Mudenda. Yes, gently. Uh, I think short answers and those like of writing an essay, I think they are two different uh, questioning type. Many those that ask for the for the essay, they are more like a statement and not like a question. I think that's take on that. Okay, okay. Gently, that is his take on that one. Anyone with a different one? Uh, Jackson. Otiria, what is your take on that one? Yes, we want to know that difference, Kaidi. Okay, uh, Charity, what, 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 what is your take on that one? Jackson, 
Jackson. Uh, question again. I didn't get you. Jackson, okay. Uh, let Jackson come in before you. Jackson, you uh, you wanted to say something. Okay. Jackson. Yes, I'm done. So, uh, what's the difference between an essay question and the and the short way answer? Yes. What's the question, sir? Uh, like essay, yes, essay, that's, that's, you need you need to write. When you're writing an essay, you're writing para big paragraphs and pages. Where its completion is just a simple paragraph, uh, just two sentences. That is what uh, completion is. Uh, com completion is just filling in the blanks. It's just filling in the blanks. Okay. Now, when you are talking, yeah, about, they, yeah, yes. So now, when you are talking about a short answer question, you are just talking about a, a sentence or two sentences, or even maybe a paragraph. Out together, but uh, an essay you're talking about more than a paragraph. Are you seeing the distinction? Nyembiri, are you getting that explanation? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, so when you're talking about questions that are more than a paragraph, those are questions that are essay type of questions. Okay, they are subjective in nature. Yes, uh, Otiria, you had your question. Please ask that question that you wanted to ask. Uh, it, it wasn't a question. It was, I guess, I wanted to contribute like, on the advantages of completion questions. Mm -hmm. I think these questions, they even encourage learners to have critical thinking because there's no guessing. They minimize guessing. So learners may tend to... Uh, yes, you are... You are right, Otiria. You know, they, since there are questions that minimize the guessing, eh? so you need to do intensive study about these questions. Okay? They, they don't encourage the guessing because you have to understand what you are responding. You don't understand, you fail. Are we together? Are we together, everyone? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And then we look at disadvantages of these questions. Okay. These questions also have got disadvantages. Okay. There's somebody that has got a, a comment in the chat. Okay. Thank you, Otilia. You're saying yes. Okay. So um, these completion uh, or filling in the blanks, okay, these that require one or two words. They are at times difficult to assess higher levels of learning altogether. Okay? They are difficult to assess higher levels of learning because you, you are objective. Because the answer to completion items are usually limited to few words. So a student or a learner doesn't need to explain a lot, do a lot of explanation, but they just need to uh, hit the nail on the head. No explanation altogether. Okay. And then the, uh, the other disadvantage is that these questions are also very difficult to construct. Okay? They are also very difficult to construct. They are difficult to assess higher levels of learning. And then they are also difficult to construct because uh, you need a desired response from your learners. Okay? Okay? So that, those, that is disadvantage number two. Disadvantage number three is may overemphasize memorization. Okay? May overemphasize memorization. So those students that are good at memorizing, they are also good at uh, uh, this type of questions which require completion or filling in the blank. Okay? So you, you are looking at um, questions that are not very high in nature, okay? 
So, but you need to just know the facts about it, these, these questions. So, there are learners that are able to, to be very good because they are very good at memorizing concepts. Okay? They are just very good at memorizing. So, you know, they, 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 don't, they don't look at the principle and everything, but they are very good at what? Memorizing. Okay? So it will, that's, that, that is another disadvantage. Questions may have more than one correct answer. That's another thing that you also need to avoid. One question having more than one answer. I say that. When you prepare completion or filling in the blank, please make sure to say those questions don't have multiple answers. Let them have restricted answers to, uh, to your question. And then the last but not of the least is scoring is, is a time consuming. Okay? So scoring of these, uh, attaching of these uh, uh, marks and the uh, grades is also very time consuming. Okay? The aspect of time. It's not all that an easy task, like in a multiple choice question. Okay? So these are type of questions that you ask, are supposed to understand this. Okay? This is the nature of questions. Anyone with a burning issue on the disadvantages? Before I give you tips on how to prepare this question. Please, you can respond. Anyone with an issue on this very one? Oteria says it's okay. Charity, you have not said anything. Ndenda. Gently, are we okay? Okay, Gently says I'm okay. Okay, okay. Then the next thing that we're going to look at is... Um, um, the next thing that we are going to look at is uh, um, tips. Okay, I need to give you tips on how to construct these questions, this completion. Okay. okay, the following are the tips. Tip number one: do not omit so many words. Okay, okay. When you are trying to prepare your questions, don't have this type of questions where you omit so many. Out together. It's not advisable to use this type of question. No. All together? Okay? It's not yes. advisable. Okay? Gently, are we together? Gently. Are we together? Okay? So do not omit so many um uh, do not omit so many um words from the intended what eh? uh okay gently says you are loud and clear sir okay thank you okay so do not omit so many uh because the word itself will lose meaning so we don't want such kind of question Avoid at all costs. It's not that they are not they are not there, but they are there. But avoid to confuse the learner. You are not trying to confuse the learner, but you are trying to educate the learner. Okay. Number two is that avoid at all costs. Okay. Avoid obvious clues. Okay. For instance, this question says an input device. Okay. Used to enter data from a hard copy into the computer is known as a what? You see, these are obvious clues. So, Elena, it is giving all the ability to say the learner should respond. So, try to avoid such kind of question because uh, you are not meeting your exact objective. Okay? Let it be so confusing for the learner to say, okay, uh, 
even if it is a completion form in any question, let it also have an element of difficultness to the learner. Okay, it must have difficultness. Okay, and then the other one that we have to look at is the third tip is okay. Uh, be sure there is only one correct response. The key is one correct response. Okay. For instance, you have this question. The physical part of a computer is known as a what? Anyone to give it a try? Yes, gently. Hardware, it's a hardware. Aye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pethias. Yes, sir. Okay. So you are you're you are talking about a hardware. Okay. Okay. Is the correct answer that you are supposed to give to this particular. So um this is um it, 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 there's no any other answer to this particular question. So these are some of the things that you have to take into consideration when you're constructing any type of given question. Okay? So we've talked about the issue of um, avoiding obvious clues. We've also talked about the issue about uh, um, do not omit um, uh, Unnecessarily. Mutale says he's in Nakonde. I don't know what he's doing. Mutale is doing in, in Nakonde. He says the metric is bad that side. Any other contribution on the same? Any other questions that we might be able to, to answer? Pethias. Sir. Yes. Are there any other questions that pertaining to what we have? Pethias. Uh, everything is clear. It's clear. Yes. Okay. Mdenda. Charity. Yes, Mdenda. No, I, I, I was having difficulties with the network also here. Oh, so, yeah. I'll catch up. Okay. Yeah, this video will be shared to you. So don't worry. Uh, you'll catch up in case you remain behind. Charity, are we okay? Try to unmute yourself and say something. We can't hear Charity. Oteria has also gone Patra. We need to hear from you, the ladies, as well. Charity says it's fine. Oteria, Patra, Mekrin. I'm clear, sir. Patra. Mekrin, how are you? You are saying the <laughs> network is bad. <laughs> it's good to have you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In case there are no questions, uh, I would like to um, uh, sincerely thank you uh, for uh, making it uh, possible for you to 